Pisces, Aditi here with Lodestone Productions, where we help you discover your true north. So today we are going to do a general read for Pisces, all placements, for the month of December 2020. Bear in mind that spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum, so divine time may vary from linear time, but it's always on time. You dig? Also, um, this is a general read, which means that not everything is going to resonate with everyone. So take what resonates and leave what does not. Also, there is no gender in spirit. I may say he or she, but I am literally referring to the energetic signature, not the genitalia. Okay, um, let's go ahead and get this party started. And let's see, Holy Spirit and angels, what messages do you have for the astrological sign of Pisces for December 2020? Pisces, December 2020. Pisces, December 20, whoop, 2020. All right, let's see what we got. Oops, there we go. All right, so we've got the Nine of Swords, King of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. Second row, we've got the Nine of Cups, the Magician, and the Eight of Cups. Third row, we've got the King of Cups, my goodness, the Ace of Cups, and the Judgment. Okay, Pisces, um, you just you, you just going to show up all up and through your reading, ain't you? All right. So, we've got the Nine of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. You are in your head about what you know is true, and yet you are still conflicted. truth is keeping you up at night yet you're conflicted okay uh, the nine of swords is the anxiety card it's the 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 train we know the train it's the one with the screeching wheels the one that doesn't put your soul does not put your soul at ease this is a this is a heavy mental load to carry uh, followed up by the king of swords the king of swords is the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth the king of swords is all about that truth he is all about what can be proven he is all about what is correct Yes. And then we've got the two of pentacles behind that. So there's, there's a balancing act happening. There's juggling happening. We're trying to keep things in the air. What are you trying to keep in the air, Pisces? Because, uh, well, it's right here. We're talking about wish fulfillment nine of cups being able to make that happen magician or walking away from something that you've already put a lot of work in All right so to go towards this wish fulfillment like you know you got the eight of cups like yeah this is good and I put in some good work and I'm you know I'm in a good spot and I, and I, I like it here but this this eight of cups is walking away from that to go towards something better it's like a sacrifice that feels like it's a really big sacrifice but then in the grand scheme of things just like oh wait no no this was this was much better 
And then in the third row, we've got the King of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and Judgment. I, it, it's, it, it's like the same thing over here. So the King of Cups is... He's he's that he he's that man. He's got a lot of love to give. He ain't gonna tell you about it though. But he got a lot of love to give. You know he's he's the father of the tarot. He's the husband of the tarot. He's the one that you know he's got this deep desire to have his loved ones around, and he he is really good at ruling himself as far as his emotional output but that doesn't necessarily mean that he is expressive with it right and then we've got the ace of cups behind it which is the opportunity of wish fulfillment in order to get to the nine you got to start with the ace so you know that this is this is coming and this is this has the potential to be the nine of cups it's not like it's a broken vessel right this is a good solid emotional foundation and then follow that up with the judgment card and this is like justice this is like karmic justice this is this is spirit handing down a decision like a hey, this is what this is Hmm. Okay. All right. And I think you know that judgment is coming, which is why you are in your head so much about what is the truth. What's the truth? And there's that. Ah. So we're juggling between the truth in your heart and the truth in your head as if these two are not able to mutually exist. But you're the magician. Hmm. All right, let's get a little more information. So let's clarify the Nine of Swords, King of Swords, and Two of Pentacles, please. Clarify the Nine of Swords, King of Swords, and Two of Pentacles, please. Ten of Wands. King of Pentacles. Well, okay. And the Ace of Wands. Man, look, this burden? This burden? This this has been this has been a heavy load for you all. This 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 scenario has been weighing on you, Pisces. It's been weighing on you a lot. Because you know that there's abundance to be had. And you're just big enough to go get it. This is. Yeah. It's almost as if. It's almost as if you're afraid to be happy. Dare I say? But you have all, I'm, look, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting on the King of Wands to show up because all the other kings are here. I'm just waiting on the King of Wands to show up because you have a lot of, you, you, got, you, you have a lot of masculine energy here helping you with this which means that this is this is about action 
This is not about intuition. This is about action. And you have, you have a lot of assistance with this. So let's, uh, let's get some more information on the Nine of Cups, the Magician, and the Eight of Cups, please. Ten of Swords. Knight of Swords. And Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you are ready. You are ready. Ten of Swords means that this mental anguish that you've been going through is about done. The Knight of Swords is the one that's going to cut that out. And then you've got the Page of Pentacles who's going to record everything and see what's left after the Knight of Swords gets done doing what he's doing to ease this anxiety that's happening here. Like, you've... Gee, you, you literally have, like, the Executioner and the Cleanup Crew all in this same clarification, man. Like... Wow. Okay, and let's clarify the King of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Judgment card. Let's clarify the King of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Judgment card for Pisces. Who are you? What you got? What you got? Six of Cups. So, Nostalgia. Equal give and take. The World. Completion. Completion. And one more. One more, please. And the Knight of Pentacles. Mm, no wonder you're so torn. Okay. So, the Six of Cups speaks of nostalgia. It's what I'm getting with you with this particular reading, like, there's there's some nostalgia associated with this anxiety that you've got going on now. But Spirit is letting you know that this cycle is done, the cycle is complete, and that it's time for you to move forward, Knight of Pentacles. Um, you will be moving forward slowly, but because of this and because you are coming out of this and you you don't want to see this again you are going to make darn sure that when you do move forward that you move forward in such a manner so that you don't find yourself back in this situation here i get it pisces it's good though it's good business because after this judgment you don't you don't want to see this again this this whole this this whole thing you got going on right now, like you you ready to have some you you ready to have some different challenges to master. I feel you. So, spirit, what final messages do you have for Pisces for December twenty twenty? Final messages for Pisces for December twenty twenty. Seven of Wands. Five of Wands. And the Emperor. Wow, look at all this root chakra energy. Look at all of this. You, ooh, woo. You are ready to defend this position against anybody that wants to come and come against it because they can get this smoke. It, look, don't start none, won't be none, but you will certainly come with it. My word, you are ready to defend. And you are ready to defend with everything you have. You are ready to lean in. You feel me? Like, this is... Wow. 
all of this passion in in the clarifications like you have a lot you you have a lot of passion in the clarifications like there's a lot of red here now when we're looking at the overline story i see a lot of blues and greens just in the cards themselves which to me is kind of talking about like here here like you you feel it you're, you're feeling it in your heart you're feeling it in your heart and you want to be able to you feel it in your heart and you're looking for the truth of the matter but when it comes down to like the meat and bones this is literally a matter of life and death for you like it really looks like you are willing to defend your right to exist exist in to exist in your in your truth pisces this is who man wow wow oh, okay one more oh pisces gets a bonus card okay spirit uh what bonus card do you have for pisces Pisces, you have the Nine of Pentacles. Not only do you have a right to exist, you have a right to thrive. You don't have to sit here and struggle for resources. You don't have to struggle for finances. You, you, not only are you not only should you exist, but you should exist and be able to live well. All right, Pisces. Whew, that's... Wow, that was great. Okay. Um, thank you for spending a few moments of your day with me. Um, be sure to, if this resonated, be sure to like share and subscribe down below also hit the notification bell so that you know when i'm making when i've uploaded new videos um until we meet again be good to yourselves and be good to each other and i will see you guys on the flip all right see you later pisces